Okay. If I could get everyone's attention for a short time. Hello everyone and welcome to Young Leaders Academy here at Sundby Holmes Castle. It's really fun to see so many of you here. My name is Denise Westerberg and I'm going to be your Master of Ceremonies for this entire weekend. You had your first course of meal, I hope you enjoyed it. And during this welcome dinner, we're going to have a few speeches and some music. But I want to start this conference by welcoming up the president for Oikos, Matthias Karlsson, to give a welcome speech to you. Thank you, Denise. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear conservative friends, it's a great honor to have you here. I know that a lot of you have traveled far and wide to be with us here tonight, and I'm deeply grateful for that. It's an honor to have you here in Sweden at a historical event in a historical time in my country's history. Um, <clears throat> when I started out in politics, and that was 25 years ago uh, now, it's uh, more than half of my life, conservatism did not exist in Sweden. It was completely gone. It was gone from the political map in Sweden for almost 70 years. Today, uh, we are in historical times because currently we have the first government in almost 100 years that deserves the etiquette of being conservative. And I know for many countries that is not such an amazing thing that usually half of the time you have a conservative government in many countries or in some countries most of the time. Uh, but in Sweden, that is something unthinkable. It was something unthinkable just up until a few years back. So I'm very, very happy about that. And uh, some of the progress that we have made as a movement has come as a result of inspiration from others in other countries. Uh, it's been very important and helpful for us to look, be able to look at other movements in other countries. And I deeply believe that that is an important thing. Uh, and I hope that we can also inspire, maybe in a few years, others that are in a worse place than we are. This is also a, a historical event in the sense that I know uh, that I've been to many international conservative conferences all over Europe and all over the Western world, and this is quite a common thing. But I think that this is actually the largest international gathering of conservatives that has ever happened in the history of Sweden. <laughs> uh, we're going to have uh, about uh, 170, about 100, 180 participants on this conference. Uh, we have uh, people here from more than 10 different countries, like 12, 13 different countries and almost 25 different conservative organizations from all the Western world. And it's just amazing, and it's an honor to have you here, all of you. And especially also a thank you to the young conservatives of Sweden, who's been helping out with the organization of this event, uh, and is the, the core of our conservative movement. I, I deeply believe in you, and I'm so glad that you're here and grateful for that. And one can, one can wonder, what is the purpose of this gathering? Um, there was an article today in uh, one of the left liberal medias uh, saying that the, the purpose of this gathering is that we are going to learn from each other on how to demolish democracy, uh, how to persecute journalists, and uh, just make our countries a horrible place. Uh, that is not the purpose of this uh, gathering. Uh, <clears throat> But I was, I was asked by another newspaper just an hour ago uh, my comments on this. And I said that I want to commem commemorate this, this uh, left liberal newspaper, ETC, because they are showing interest in this uh, com conference. It's, it's, I, I admire them for that. And I think mo more people should follow their example, because when was a communist ever wrong? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> But no, we're not, gonna, we're not here to discuss how we can abolish democracy and freedom of speech, on the contrary. Uh, we're not here either to uh, become the same. 
Uh, we are not here to become one movement with one common goal. Because there is one thing uh, that uh, separates conservatives from other ideologies and other movements, and that is that we don't have one single common goal and we don't strive to be exactly the same. And on every international conference I think I've ever been to, I've been uh, giving one, uh, the same quote over and over again. Uh, and of course it is from the marvelous Sir Roger Scruton and I'm so deeply honored to have Lady Scruton here with us tonight. Please give him a warm applause. Uh, and this quote is from uh, the book, The Meaning of Conservatism. And it goes, uh, Solon, when asked, was this the best form of government? replied, uh, for whom and at what time? It is a certain culture, a certain country, a certain form of life that commands the respect and the energy within the conservative, conservative, conservatism needs to, of necessity to be different in different countries. We need to remember that. At the same time, uh, with that in mind, I'm certain that we can inspire each other we have a lot to learn from each other. We can pick up ideas and uh, ways to, to uh, build our movements to be stronger because we have common adversaries. They are attacking us with the same means, with the same aggressiveness all over the continent, all over the Western world. And we also, we, we are unified in our belief in home, virtue and beauty. And I hope we can all be stronger and we can new find new friends. And I hope you all will have a wonderful weekend here at Sunby Home Castle. Thank you very much. Thank you for that speech. Beautiful. And we have one more speaker before you get to enjoy your main course. We have Henrik Koliander, the head chairman for Conservativa Förbundet, who has been and arranged this conference. The floor is yours. Big applause. Thank you. I'm sure you're all hungry, and I'm going to keep it brief since it said that brevity is the core of wit. And I'd, first of all, I'd like to thank all of you, and especially you international guests who travel far and wide to come here at Sundby Home Castle. Most Swedes here probably know that 30 kilometers that way, for 500 years, almost to the date, uh, Sweden, as we know it, was born when Gustav Eriksson was elected king in Steignas, 1523. In another other words, Sweden, as we know it, was born almost 500 years ago on this year. But you, if you, dear internationals, were here on the 6th of June, I could not have blamed you for not knowing that it was a, a momentous event for this country. Flagpoles were left empty, many streets were almost empty of people, and most cities had no celebrations at all. And Sweden again, once again, showed that it is reeked with hatred against its own culture and its own tradition, and is riddled with oikophobia. We, as conservatives, are standing against this hate. And let you remember that next time anybody calls you an advocate of hatred or from the hateful side. We must always act from love. And let this conference be about love. Love of our country, love of our common history, and love of our peoples. And with that, that said, I'd once again like to welcome you all and hope you have a wonderful weekend. And remember to enjoy yourself and have fun. Thank you.